together we are more <laughs> <friends. laughs> <laughs> I'm Lauren. I'm Kelly. Together we are more Kelly. <laughs> Today we are talking about vegetarianism. <laughs> I thought we were going to say maybe vegetarian. Vegetarian! Well, let's say vegetarianism. Vegetarianism! You were a vegetarian. Yeah. Well, it's a slippery slope. Let me tell you what. A slippery slope! Episode one or two, we talk about slippery slopes. I have been a vegetarian for about seven years. And and then before that, for about ten years. What did you have an affair with in those in the times of your marriage to vegetarianism? Because then for a little while, people were like, oh, you gotta do more protein, you gotta do Atkins. So I was eating a ton of meat and have the cholesterol of Mike Ditka. Oh, oh, oh. I don't even know if he's alive or dead. Are, Are you sure? alive, Mike so, Ditka? We hope so. And then when you have foodie friends, and you're a vegetarian, it's very difficult. They're like, oh, you're a foodie, then you can have rice. You're filthy, disgusting. <laughs> foodie friends are like, a little bit of meat, a little bit of cracker with a drizzle and a garnish. Just a drizzle of the tear ducts of a goose, mm -hmm. or just drizzled so lightly on top of this pate mm -hmm. made from a dog's spleen. The goose was raised on an open farm, caught him just as he was flying over to a beautiful oh. vacation palace oh. in India. And the lamb's teeth socks, oh. they squeeze it so softly as a small aperitif on top. We foodies get it, you know. You, you, would, you, you don't would, understand. You would do vegetarian. Eat your couscous. Ooh, who wants dessert? Ooh, I'm gonna have the flambe of kitten. I was up in Napa with my boss and was like, oh, we're eating at the Culinary Institute. Whoa, wait a minute. Up in Napa with your boss, was this an affair? It was a affair with food. Because I'm at the Culinary Institute and I was like, is there anything vegetarian? They're like, no, we have one meal tonight. It's what the chefs are all cooking. You're gonna eat some steak or get out. You're sitting in Hogwarts. You gotta eat the butter beer. Harry Potter. Yes, sir. You're in Hogwarts now. I just want some RC Cola, sir. No, you can't have any of that. You gotta drink your butter beer. I lived under a staircase for 10 years. Nothing compared to what I will do to you if you don't drink your butter beer! It's so thick. Welcome to Hogwarts. I will tell you what is the gateway meat. For shrimp. Shrimp is kind of a cockroach of the sea. And it's so chopped up, and it's fun, and there's no head on it. And then it slips right into like, well, I had that, I might as well have some steak with it. Might as well have the dog that I raised from a puppy. Oh, <laughs> you went from one extreme to the next. Uh, really in the middle of the big time vegetarian series. Yes. My mom was like, here's an egg roll. I was like, is it vegetarian? Okay, took a big bite, there's a chicken. So I said, oh, there's chicken in it. She goes, oh, I'm sorry, Miss L.A. I didn't know that meant white meat. It's a meat racist. I'm a vegetarian. A chicken would have to hate part of itself. Yeah. Well, the weird news we looked up today. Oh, yeah. The uh, weird news. Weird news is a surprising number of drunk vegetarians secretly eat meat. Oh. Burgers in the middle of the night. Why are you awake? Why are you awake right now? I was just getting into the refrigerator. Why are you awake? Went out and I bought all the McDonald's burgers they had. I can't do it. I'm vegetarian. I was just on my way to get some rice or couscous. I was just thinking though, like it's important to eat meat when you're drunk because it just absorbs the protein and soak up the alcohol. Pass me the meat! One of my close friends is a sorority girl. And she and now, said, still you know, to this day, she didn't go by the sorority. She was hanging out. <laughs> But she was like, oh my god, if you get drunk for your first time, you have to go the next morning and get a cheeseburger happy meal from McDonald's with a Dr. Pepper. And it changed everything. Now it was super vegetarian. It made it better? Oh my god, it was gone. Because it's Dr. Pepper prune juice, basically. Mr. Johansson, oh, you gotta drink your Dr. Pepper. I don't want to. I was in the war. You yes. haven't gone poopy number two in 14 days. So. I don't want to give the commies my excrement. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody. All the meat eaters, vegetarian friends of vegetarian, the animals being eaten, all those drunkards who only eat meat when they're drunk. We know. We know. We feel. <laughs> now I want a hamburger!